Author Paul Streitz shares his personal story of overcoming adversity and facing some of life's uphill challenges. He tells his story in Blue Collar Buddha, life-changing lessons learned on the journey from flight attendant to cancer survivor to entrepreneurial millionaire. Paul, thanks for coming in. You had a fascinating and, uh, and, and inspiring life. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, car salesman, we didn't mention that. Yeah. Uh, that's how you started. Explain the title, Blue Collar Buddha. Well, you know, the title came about is that I, what I wanted people to understand is that no matter where you come from, you can achieve happiness and success. And blue collar is really where I grew up. I grew up in a blue collar neighborhood, I had a blue collar family. And basically, that's how it came from. And Buddha is wisdom. So the life lessons mm -hmm. I learned along the way, I ended up naming the book Blue Collar Buddha. Makes sense. Uh, and much of the book, it seems to me, is a narrative uh, on how to have a successful mindset. And much of that is keeping a positive mental attitude. Hey, you're exactly right. Yeah. And matter of fact, what's really important, I think, is when things do come your way, speed bumps, obstacles, is to look at them differently and attack them differently than negatively. Well, what I think is interesting in here is that even though we all know that you have to have a positive mental attitude, you haven't always been positive. No. You, you, you let yourself get down in the dumps, but you pick yourself up. Exactly. It's knowing when you need to go out and get some help. When you have a sore throat, you have strep throat, you go to the doctor, you get right. a prescription to take care of it. When you have a problem that might be emotional, or it might be something that happened, go out there and get help. Go out there and, and, and dig deeper mm -hmm. into your life and fix it. So you've had, uh, you've had employers cheat you out of money earlier in your career when you were sort of learning the lighting business. You've had a, an employee embezzle from you. You've, you've been betrayed by romantic partners and, uh, and even your brother. You learn to forgive them because you understand or at least you came to understand the power of redemption. Well, I think it's, you're either going to let it control you or you're going to control it. And what I did is I let it control me for many years, and, and that's all I focused on is all the bad things that happened instead of taking control of it and going, wait, these things happen for a reason. I learned some great lessons through this, and now I want to share them with other people because why let it control you? Yeah, okay, so the day you sold your company, a uh, very successful lighting design company, uh, you became an instant millionaire. You had this big check, and instead of celebrating, you'd think most people would be out celebrating, you collapsed on the bed. I did. You were I miserable. Was, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was really, um, you know, basically I was really um, sad. I wasn't happy. I didn't have anything to share with, mm -hmm. and no one to share it with, and it was really, really hard for me. Yeah. Uh, you've, uh, so, so what have you done? What'd you do? Well, basically I dug deeper, and I started to journal my life. And during mm -hmm. the journaling of my life, what ended up happening was uh -huh. I started to realize there was negative patterns. Okay. So I went back and fixed them, wrote, rewrote the stories. And I think uh, you've been successful, you've done well, but, but I think uh, you still consider yourself kind of an average guy. And, Absolutely. And, and my takeaway from this is that your message is that a lot of average people can succeed. Absolutely. I think the minute you start getting above yourself is when you really, don't, you really lose sight of who you are. Yeah. Um, so what can a reader get out of this? Well, I think ultimately is, no matter what your setbacks are, your obstacles, there is a way, there is a way to live a life without limits. Yeah, and I think in these economic times, I think another, uh, another takeaway that I'm getting from this is, is the idea of starting a business. You can do it. Absolutely. And, and, and uh, sometimes having a, a regular job with uh, the fear of layoffs and firings is, is an insecure way to live. Well, yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, you get in the way of yourself. Your own limiting beliefs, the way you branded yourself internally, has to be fixed. You have to create a brand in which you're positive and really know where you want out of life, and you just go for it. Well, good luck to you, and thank you for sharing some, uh, some wonderful information. Fantastic. Thanks. Paul, Paul Streitz. The book is uh, Blue Collar Buddha. You can learn more uh, by going to his website. It's paulstreitz.com. That's S-T-R-E-I-T-Z. Or bluecollarbuddha.com. For a link, or if you missed anything, you can re watch this segment at wgntv.com/slash midday. We've got the midday fix coming up, and uh